And for Chelsea, they are ninth in the Premier League table and five points behind the top four with the UEFA Champions League last 16 knockout clash against Atletico Madrid to come next month. Frank Lampard has been fired and we're hearing that um, Thomas Tuchel, uh, the former Paris Saint-Germain manager, will take over from Frank Lampard. Total, total battle rush. Mm -hmm. But no me. official announcement. They are only yet. five points behind the guys on top. Mm. They are still in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. I think we should, um, the fans, we fans, mm. tend to be very impatient. We want to win all the time. It's only normal. Mm. And when, uh, I think the only reason why you can, from 1986 to now, to this day, Chelsea have had 15 coaches. Mm. When um, um, the coach of Manchester United, Pep Guardiola? Ferguson, or, uh, Ferguson, got there, he lost, for five years he was failing. And then look at him after five years. He did well. I think we should learn to keep faith with our coaches, really. Mm. Mikel Arteta came in. The fans were like, Mikel should go. We don't want him anymore. But Arsenal is doing quite well now. Maybe not what we, the fans would expect, mm. but they are not doing as badly as they were doing before. Mm. Ole must go. Ole must go. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Manchester United. Now they're top them. of the log. Top of the log. Mm. They've just beat Liverpool, defending champions, and they're in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes um, the board should be a little patient mm. with their coaches. However, when Ibramovic bought Chelsea, he said he wasn't buying Chelsea as an investor. Mm. He wasn't buying Chelsea as an investment. That is actually a fan of the club. Of the club. So, like most fans, he's impatient too. Mm -hmm. That's the unfortunate thing. He's not thinking like a board. He's thinking like a fan. Who will not have patience? If do you know how many times Man U have changed their name? They were once new, new Newton something one time. They were Busby Babes at a point. Now they're Manchester United. Mm. They got Alex Ferguson. He spent five years without one trophy. Trophy. What's it with a single chain? <laughs> and then five years after, he started winning things. He became everything. He won mm. the Champions League. He won the English Premier League two numerous times. He won the FA Cup. So I still think that I am not one of the people who are of the belief that Lampard... Why don't you blame the players? Mm -hmm. Lampard bought one of the best players in every wing across the world. Timo Werner, Ben Chilwell, um, Akim Ziyech. A lot of them. And then, and but in as, as want well. to blame, in as much as we want to blame the players, we'd also sometimes blame the coach for not being able to manage bro. these players. But we have Gide Ladko on standby. He's all the way in the UK. And uh, of course, he is not a Chelsea fan. But of course, he's a football fan. And he has a whole lot to say uh, when it comes to the coaching side of the game as well. Good to have you with us, Gide. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be on the show this morning. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Um, how's your family doing? I'm, I'm just doing fine as I'm speaking. The baby's sleeping in my hand, so you get some noises. <laughs> I mean, you just have to do. You just have to do the needful. <laughs> let, let, let's talk about uh, the latest situation right there at Chelsea. Frank Lampard has been fired, and um, do you really agree with the fact that he should be fired, or should he have been um, given more time? Was it a case of the, the club being impatient, or it was no, just not good enough? Well, look, there's no straightforward answer to this kind of question. Um, traditionally, in the football world, there are three teams that will fire you if you don't perform. Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona, and Chelsea. Um, like Wally said earlier, you know, since 1996 or 98, they've changed managers 15 times. Ever since Roman Abramovich took over the club, he has been a no nonsense club owner. He has made it vividly clear that if you're not performing, that you get fired. Um, in my opinion, I personally think like Frank Lampard was just one step ahead of his time. Uh, personally, haven't really seen anything in his coaching CV for him to think that he's worthy enough to lead Chelsea to the promised land. Um, it, it, that job was just too big for him and inevitably that had to happen. It's sad, you know, when managers lose their their jobs, it's not something to be happy about. But at the end of the day, football is a business. You know, I operate in the footballing business as a football intermediary, and I'm privy to some information that happens, you know, in, in the background. Mm. Most club owners always think about what happens if we don't 
finish in certain parts of the of the league table, uh, if we don't qualify for certain competitions, where are the revenues? Where's where's the revenue going to come from? So, oh. it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, I wouldn't blame the coach for sacking him because at the end of the day, so I wouldn't blame the club for sacking the coach because they have to think about their their club. But at the same time, it's sad when you see clubs not give coaches enough time. Yeah. You know, um, Frank Lampard needed enough time and he didn't get it. Hmm. True. Now, uh, we're hearing rumours, uh, no, nothing confirmed from Chelsea yet, that uh, the former Paris Saint-Germain manager, Thomas Tuchel, will be taking over from La Frank Lampard. Is this a good choice for Chelsea? Well, historically, if you have to look at what he has achieved, maybe in Borussia Dortmund he did something, but with all the money that he had at PSG, <laughs> you know, apart from maybe the leagues, yeah. he didn't really do much. Um, a club of that magnitude, they've spent so much. He couldn't get them the Champions League. But again, you know, we as analysts, we tend to subscribe to this cognitive bias where we think we know who's going to perform or not. Um, they don't really have a choice because right now, apart from Allegri, there are no other world-class coaches that I believe can fit, you know, uh, into that coaching role in Chelsea. So it's not a bad choice. Um, but personally, I haven't really seen him done much. Uh, he's, not a, he's not a legend. You know, you're not bringing in a Mourinho or you know, a pep. Yeah, you're just bringing a coach that's probably proved himself at some sort of level, but hmm. he's not really done anything to be a, a world legendary class coach. Hmm. Well, some, some Chelsea fans are quite happy that Frank Lampard has been fired, but I, I still feel like you should have been given more time because look at um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, like Wally rightly mentioned, at some point in the, uh, in, in the season, the fans were calling for his head, saying he should leave the club. And of course, Arsenal fans were also saying Ateta out, but they've been given a little more time and they are beginning to show um, signs that they can do well at the club. Frank Lampard, don't you think he should have been given more time to perform with the kind of players that he had? Yeah, I mean, personally, you know, he should have been given enough time to perform, you know, but he had 18 months. Um, I personally think that, you know, what put the nail to the coffin is the fact that they spent around 200 million plus pounds, yeah. pounds you know, on the transfer season. You got the likes of Kai Havertz, you know, Pulisic, um, you know, Timo Werner, Ben Chilwell. You should be able to bring the best out of these people. Oh. And not just that, you know, I personally think he couldn't draw the best from the players that come from the academy. So we're talking the likes of um, Hudson Odoi, Odoi. Um, Tammy Abraham. Under him, I think that these players should have tried more. I mean, when you look at what uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, mm. his, uh, his comrade is doing in Manchester United with the likes of Greenwood, you know, he's been able to bring the best out of these players. Um, and I personally just think like Ole is technically far more superior than Lampard. He has more experience under his belt. Uh, he retired early, so he was able to go into coaching. We saw what he did in Norway. Uh, coming back to Manchester United, a club where you know uh, he built some kind of legendary status for himself when he was a player, it was easy for him to fit in. For Frank Lampard, I just personally think that you know he came in quite early into a role that was larger than him. Than, than him. Um, GD, so GD, I'm sorry. Just, giving I'm, him enough time, but football is football. It is what it is, you know. GD, you I'm sorry to say this. Yeah. I'm a very big Manchester United fan, but I want to disagree with you when you say Lampard is a bit, um, a little bit lower than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Don't forget, in gist that we have is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has always worked with um, Ferguson. Has always been behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. He's got Michael Carrick, former teammates. He's got. I don't think Lampard has the kind of luxury that Soksha has. Mm. Soksha still has Ferguson somewhere in the shadows, still telling him what to do and how to go about it. Lampard doesn't have that luxury. Mm. Really. My opinion, though. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, so my take on that is this. You know, in, in football, you can't have excuses and results. You can either have uh, one or the other. If you have excuses, you get fired. If you have results, you stay in the job. Um, how you get your results, nobody really cares. Um, is he getting some kind of mentorship? I'm talking about Ole in the background. I don't know. But the thing is, um, Alex Ferguson is not the one sitting on <laughs> the coaching role. It's Ole doing it. So oh. someone can tell you how to pass an exam. If you still don't 
apply your technical aptitude, you're going to fail. So mm. all this is just excuses. I'm sure that um, Frank Lampard has got mentors in the industry as well. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm not sure he's picking up the phone and calling the likes of Jose <laughs> <Pope and> Mario <laughs> because they're rivals at the moment. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. uh, at the end of the day, I get where you're coming from, but nobody really cares how you get your results. You get your results, you're good. You don't get it, you get fired. So it's just an unfortunate incident. You know, I personally didn't want to see him get fired, but yeah. I said it in the beginning when he got the job that I felt like this was just one job that was far too early for him and he went one step ahead of his time mm. here. All right. Thank you very much, GD, for speaking with us this morning. Always a pleasure. It's a pleasure. All right. Thank All right. you.